The Tygo monitoring system is very advanced, but it depends on a stable internet connection to send monitoring data to the cloud. Loss of internet connectivity only means that monitoring data is not being sent to the cloud. Your Tygo system will continue to produce power even if the internet connection is down. You may notice this message on your monitoring portal. This means your Tygo system is not able to connect to the internet. You may also notice that the date displayed on the lower left of the monitoring portal is not current. This display shows the date when the last information was received from the system. You should also be receiving email or SMS alerts, such as those shown here. If you are not, check your alert settings. By looking at the calendar display, you can see days in black that have missing data. The Tygo system has local data storage. If the internet is lost, the Tygo system will store the monitoring data locally for as long as it can. What can cause this problem? How is internet connectivity lost? First, we will look at your network equipment, such as routers and switches. Next, we will determine if you have a general internet outage. Finally, we will look at your solar equipment to see if it is working properly. If your internet is working on your other devices and your Tygo system is still unable to connect, the first task is to find your equipment. Your main network router should look something like these devices. You may also have other devices called switches. They should look something like these examples. One less common device is a power line adapter or PLA. These devices plug into an outlet and send data over your electrical wiring. When connectivity is lost, one common problem is damaged or disconnected cables. If your router is not showing any lights on the front panel, it is probably not getting power. Check its power cable and make sure it is plugged in properly. It is also possible that your internet service is experiencing an outage. The next thing to do is check your other devices. Are your personal computers, laptops, and tablets able to access the internet? If none of your devices are able to access the internet, there are a few things you can try to restore service. Routers sometimes just need to be reset. Their data can become stale, causing connections to fail. Sometimes restarting the router can get things working again. Most routers do not have a power switch. Simply unplugging the device and plugging it back in again will reset the device. Give it a few minutes to reset and try the internet again. Check all of the cables to make sure that none are damaged or unplugged. If you still can't get internet access on any device, call your internet service provider and ask them to fix the problem. If your other devices are accessing the internet, the trouble may be with your solar equipment. Here are some things we will look at. Tygo has three data loggers. We will look at the different ways these data loggers can connect to the internet. We will show procedures for diagnosing internet connection problems. Finally, we will show how to reset your solar power system. Tygo has three data loggers. The Cloud Connect Advanced, or CCA, is our latest data logger. We also have two legacy data loggers, the Cloud Connect, or CC, and the Maximizer Management Unit, or MMU. Let's look at how your data logger is connected to the network. There are two main ways your data logger can be connected to the network, Ethernet and Wi-Fi. If there is a cable connected to the Ethernet port on your data logger, then an Ethernet connection is being used. The Cloud Connect and Cloud Connect Advanced can also connect via Wi-Fi. 
If a Wi-Fi connection is being used, then your data logger is connecting to a Wi-Fi router. The first task is to find your data logger. It will usually be mounted near your inverter in an enclosure like this one. For the CCA, if its LED is lit and green, then it is connected to the internet and working. For the Cloud Connect and the MMU, the LCD display should show some text if the unit is getting power. If it is blank, then it is not getting power. If your data logger is getting power, next we need to determine if it has internet access. If your data logger is using Ethernet, follow the cable to find the device to which your data logger is connected. If your data logger is connected via Wi-Fi, you will need to find your Wi-Fi router. Your data logger may be connected directly to a router, which should look something like these devices. Or it may be connected through a switch like one of these devices. A third possibility, it may be connected through a power line adapter or PLA, which look like this. PLAs are plugged into electrical outlets and provide a network connection. If your data logger is connected to a PLA, make sure it is getting power. It should have a light or other power indicator. Look for any other PLAs and check them also. There should be more than one and there could be many. Make sure that all PLAs are plugged directly into a wall outlet, not into a power strip or extension cord. Make sure all of these devices are working properly. Note the manufacturer and model numbers. If they are not working, contact the manufacturer or your internet service provider to have them repaired. Now let's look at how to run a network test using the Cloud Connect Advanced and the Tygo Smart mobile app. From the system page, go to settings, then Cloud Connect settings. Now connect to the CCA using Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. For the CCA network settings, choose Ethernet or Wi-Fi. This is how the CCA is connected to the internet. If you are using Wi-Fi and the password has changed, this is the place to input the new password. Now tap Run Test. The results of this test may give you some hints as to why the CCA is having trouble connecting to the internet. If the light on the CCA is showing red, it usually means it's unable to connect to the internet. If the CCA is connected to ethernet, you can test the cable by unplugging it from the CCA and plugging it into a laptop. If the CCA is connected by Wi-Fi, Try another Wi-Fi device at the same location as the CCA to see if it will connect. Finally, try resetting all of the network devices in the enclosure by removing and reapplying power. This includes the CCA and any network switches nearby. This can sometimes be done with a circuit breaker in the electrical service. If you have one marked solar, switch it off for at least one minute and then switch it on again. See the Tygo Resource Center for more information on troubleshooting your system. If you cannot determine the cause of the problem, call or email Tygo Tech Support for further assistance. Also see the notes in the comment section of this video for further info and links to troubleshooting information.